Hello students this video lecture is an initiative taken by Shet Vidya Mandir Junior College of Commerce and Science this video lecture is for 12th standard students subject is secretarial practice and our today's topic is capital structure students in the first video lecture we have learned that a finance manager has to decide a proper source of finance and in deciding so he also has to look after the cost of capital that is the returns which we have to give to the investors through whom we have raised this capital today we'll see the various sources of capitals and when a company selects multiple sources of capital to raise their capital that multiple source together is called as capital structure see we know that company can raise capital through many sources it can be equity shares preference shares debentures public deposits we have seen in the previous lectures but when all this capital comes together they are called as capital structure it is a mixture of capital called as capital structure a capital structure is composed of owned funds and borrowed funds owned fund includes equity shares preference shares reserves and surplus and borrowed fund includes debentures loan from bank loan from financial institutions public deposits etc capital structure of each firm is different as it is as per their desired proportion or required proportion a firm can raise majority capital through own fund by issuing equity shares or preference shares and comparatively less amount from debentures or bank loans initially every new company raises majority of the funds by issuing equity shares that is through own fund and as the business develops as the business grows the firm raises further capital through preference shares and uh, debentures loan from banks and in this way a firm raises capital at different time at from different sources and in all they have a combination of various sources that combination is called as capital structure now let us see the components of capital structure as they are basically categorized as own fund and borrowed fund the first type of own fund is equity share capital students equity share capital is one of the most and most important source of capital for a new company it is always advisable to raise their capital by issuing equity shares a person who purchase equity shares or you can say a investor who invest money through buying equity shares or by subscribing for equity shares is called as equity share holder equity share holders gets dividend as a returns on their investment but the rate of this dividend is fluctuating in nature and the equity shareholders will get this dividend after the company pays dividend to preference shareholders after paying preference shareholders the dividend is paid to equity shareholders and that too the rate of dividend the percentage of dividend is fluctuating in nature it depends on the profits of the firm here the equity shareholders bears a risk 
on the returns on their investment and there are many such features which states that the equity shareholder or the equity shares are risky capital they bear a lot of risks therefore the equity shareholders are also called as shock absorbers or risk takers and the real owners of the firm we will see more features of equity share capital in our next chapter sources of finance now let us see the second source of capital that is preference share capital preference shares are those shares which are not equity shares as the name suggests preference means priority a person or the investor who purchases or invests in preference share capital is called as preference shareholder preference shareholder gets priority on receiving dividend as i said earlier preference shareholders get dividend before equity shareholders firstly as a priority fixed rate of dividend is given to preference shareholder and then at fluctuating rate it is given to equity shareholder in the same way if the company gets winds up liquidated that means if the company is closing down company has to pay back all the capitals to the preference shareholder and equity shareholder but firstly as a priority capital will be repaid first to preference shareholders and then to equity shareholders due to such features of priority or preference in receiving dividend and receiving the capital back it is called as preference share capital our third source of finance is retained earnings it is nothing but reserves and surplus every year a firm has to keep aside a part of profits for its future uncertainties as future is unpredictable this part of profit which is kept aside is called as retained earnings it is an internal source of finance and it is a cost free finance also as the company needs not to pay any dividend or interest to any other person it's just using their own old profits it is also called as plowing back of profit now let us see borrowed capital the first type of borrowed capital is debenture a person who purchases or invests in debenture capital is called as debenture holder this debenture holder receives a debenture certificate as a acknowledgement that they have purchased the debentures of the company and in return they will get fixed rate of interest there are also some types of debentures and there are more such features of debentures which we'll see in our second chapter sources of finance now let us see the second type of borrowed funds term loan students term means period a firm can raise capital or you can say additional capital by getting loan from any bank or any financial institutions this loan can be taken for short term period or a long term period and company has to pay fixed rate of interest to the banks or the financial institutions students in this video lecture through capital structure i have given you a short briefing about the various securities through which a company can raise their capital like equity shares preference shares retained earnings debentures and term loans students in second chapter these all securities will be explained as sources of finance 
and every source of finance is explained in detail capital structure is a composition of these securities as you can see in this balance sheet all sources of capital is been given there and every firm has different sources of capital and all these different sources together is called as capital structure